Well, I'm on the move. And it's pretty spectacular. Um, on Monday morning, there should be less boats. We'll see. It took me a little bit longer to get away because the tide has switched. The wind is, excuse me, the wind has switched. And there was a boat now floating directly over my anchor and I had to wait for the wind to move a little bit so I could pull up my anchor. But uh, I think we have 16 bridges and you know if I make it there it'll be late. And I've already put my enclosures down because it's supposed to uh, uh, rain a bunch today so I don't have to be wet. Maybe hot but not wet. So much for no wake zones. I just went by and of course they refract back and forth off the wall, but hey, no way. Well, I'm so glad that I got screwed up and they going out to It's blowing on 22 to 29 knots. It would have been terrible on the outside. The wind would have been directly on my nose. The waves would have been bad. And I would have just gone so slow and been miserable. Um, it wasn't fun. I had 18 bridges. It wasn't really that much fun. But um, I timed most of them pretty good. Um, that is West Palm Beach over in the distance. And I have, uh, have 4.5 4 nautical miles. And um, I'm timing it to get there. I'll get the next uh, bridge at 413 and it opens at 415. Um, so that's when the cuts trying to time to make sure I could get to the different bridges because they, well, I think only one was on demand. The rest of the 18 bridges were uh, a time you ever made. And if you missed it, that's 30 minutes, you can sit in the road. Come to West Palm Beach. That's the last bridge. And then I'm going to go. My first night back. In West Palm Beach. The views I see. did it back at West Palm Beach um, it was very fast uh, coming over from Bimini to Lauderdale I was just loping along and didn't push the motor I don't think the last time they cleaned the bottom they got the uh, barnacles off the prop so it was, it was violently shaking the boats so had to pull it back a little bit but between the Gulf Stream the motor and the wind we were averaging uh, between eight and nine and a half knots, and I saw 10 knots a few times, um, but we made it just, I forgot exactly, but it was like rocket ship fast. Uh, it got rough and windy as we got close to Fort Lauderdale and the inlet was pretty rough, and the boats were crazy, even coming out of that inlet. And um, we turned into the inlet and there was enough room. I took down my mainsail and we waited to uh, go through the first, um, uh, bridge and where I was going to go somebody's on the VHF said it was too shallow don't go in there but I didn't see any boats and it could have been uh, a homeowner because we would I would be back inside of a neighborhood that would just de destroy the privacy uh, but that's okay I moved on forward and I found a place to anchor and people would come and go it was very gross very weird very very beautiful um, but just over the top uh, flashy money of uh, uh, boats and houses and just hard to even imagine the wealth that was involved but you know you have 50 year old men trying to be 20 year old men and loud music on boats and giant boats and terrible one boat was a, came up very slowly next to me and we were getting close to the bridge and I needed to turn around I mean he was 10 feet away from me it was a, probably a 50 foot boat and I said look I gotta turn around and he just glared at me so I had to, the bridge is coming up and he could go into the bridge, but I couldn't go into the bridge with my mask. So I had to put it in reverse and really give a lot of gas to stop the boat 
so he could go by, so I could turn around, so I wouldn't run into the bridge. But all said and done, we had 19 bridges, um, no, no fixed bridges, only one was on demand. Um, they were some would open the, at uh, the top of the hour and the bottom of the hour, some would open the quarter and three quarters, some every 20 minutes. Um, one changed their, their time because they said the traffic was bad, so I had to wait on that one. One, the, uh, it was a longer run and the wind was blowing 23 knots. Thank God the weatherman was wrong. And had I gone out in the ocean, it would have been terrible. And that would have been 23 to 28 knots on my nose for 20 something miles. And that would have created, it would have been miserable. And all that happens because somebody told me not to go into that, that little area to anchor. Had I anchored there, I would have gone back out in the ocean and sailed up the 40 something miles to uh, West Palm Beach, but it would have been miserable. But I really missed one um, bridge and he said, well, if he would hold it for me for three minutes and he asked me how far I was. I said, now I'll be honest, he said, I'm five. He said, I can't hold it that long. And I told him, look, I'm going as fast as I can. I've got the wind and the current against me. And he was very kind. He opened the bridge for me. And so we made it in pretty good time. I guess, I guess we started it at 10 and I had to wait because somebody had anchored so close to me at the anchorage I found that um, they were on top of my anchor and I had to wait for the wind to change so I could pull my boat up to the anchor and pull the anchor out of the water where he had anchored when the, where the wind had pushed us I couldn't get up to the anchor so I didn't get away till uh, till 10 and then we got got there uh, in West Palm Beach around four o'clock and I wanted to anchor closer to the town. It's still really pretty where I anchored, but uh, it was just too many boats to park directly in front of the town. But it's beautiful here. It's a beautiful city. It's very expensive. Eating out is expensive. Everything is expensive. But I'm glad to be back, and now it's a waiting game for Cynthia. And I will head up if Cynthia can't come. The, the Ecuadorian government lost her, her birth certificate, and the U.S., government wants uh, an original certified so it's created a mess i may add up to titusville and pull the boat out of the water for a month and just spend a ton of money on my boat so anyway i'm back to the states and i'm glad to be here i missed it there's no place like home and um we did it we went to the bahamas <laughs>